Houston, Texas is home to SmackDown action tonight. I'm Michael Cole here with Taz at ringside, and what a show we've got for you tonight. Absolutely, Cole. And you know what? I've always wanted to say this. Houston, we got a problem. Actually, we don't have a problem because SmackDown's in town. You got that right, partner. The Space City loves SmackDown, and the superstars are not going to let them down. These superstars have been going hard all night. They sure have. And that's where the... He's taking a little time to give his opponent a piece of his mind. You sure he can spare a call? Batista has had lots of success so far, but that's just because the opponents really let him suck. And here's a little something for the fans. That's why they love him. You know what? But who cares what they think? All he's doing here is giving his opponent a chance to recover. He anticipated that move perfectly. These WWE fans just can't get enough of these superstars. And I'm glad to see it. A WWE match isn't just about competition, it's also about entertaining the fans. Okay, well, if that's the case, how come they got you as an announcer? I mean, that ain't exactly great entertainment, in my opinion. You might be right, Taz. I think it would be extremely entertaining to listen to you try to call a match all by yourself. The thing you gotta remember about The Undertaker is that 50% of his style and his offense is about getting inside the head of his opponent. If you can keep your cool and keep your, you know, keep your head together in the ring with him, you're halfway home. But you're not talking about adding insult to injury. And these fans love it. Yeah, well, you know what? He better worry more about the injury and less about the insult until this match is over. There's not a superstar in the locker room who can afford to ignore these fans, Cole. You're right about that. Without the fan. He saw that one coming. Looks like he's taking his opponent for a ride. Oh, God. What a huge Batista bomb. Hey, no one you want to take twice. He's got him covered. One, two. Is that it? No, only a two count. And here we go with the submission hold. This could be a pivotal moment in this match. It sure could. There's a lot of pressure being applied in that hold, Cole. tell you, Cole, I thought I had this thing figured out, but now I got no idea how this is going to end up. Neither do I, Taz, and I think it's that unpredictability that makes it so exciting. No doubt, Cole. I've seen superstars get a huge advantage over there. He's three seconds away from a win. One, two. Oh, man, I can't believe that wasn't three. You just don't see action like this every day, Cole. You sure don't, Taz. And we've got the best seats in the house. No doubt, front and center. We couldn't be any closer to this match without being in it. <laughs> Whoa, that's your territory, partner, not mine. I'm perfectly happy to stay right where I am. You talk about raw power. You talk about him. Look at him, he's just radiating confidence. And he's got a lot to be confident about. Yeah, well, he looks a little overconfident to me, Cole. And that can come back to bite him on a you-know-what. Man, this crowd is really swelling this guy's head. There's no doubt that these fans love him, Taz. And he's feeding off that energy right now. What? It sounds like this capacity crowd has something on their minds, Taz. Yeah, and thousands of paying customers can't be wrong. The Undertaker. Yeah, but you can only stay on top of the mountain for so long. And the dead man's been there for a very, very long time. That might be true, Tech. This is just dumb, Cole. You don't win a match by taunting your opponent to death. I disagree, Taz. Getting the crowd on your side can be a huge psychological boost. He ain't taking any chances with this submission, Cole. Look at how tight he's got it locked in. 
I see that, Taz. I wouldn't be surprised if he got his opponent to tap out right here. Look at this. No fear on the face of this superstar. Yeah, that 50 cents will get you a cup of coffee. I think we're hearing the First Amendment in action here tonight, Taz. It's a great thing to hear, Cole. I'm all in favor of freedom of expression, whether I agree with what they're saying or not. Yeah, I've been on both sides of it, Cole. That's the truth. And let me tell you, it's better to give than receive. That was a textbook reversal. This has been a great match so far, but I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. Oh, really? Are you willing to go out on a limb and actually make a guess then? There's no guesswork involved, Cole. But if you're going to be snippy, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Wow, if I knew it was that easy, I would have said that years ago. Wow, look at that submission. I ain't never seen it executed better. Neither have I, Parker, and this might be enough to get the tap out right here. Okay, yeah, great. That's just great. Now, why don't you quit showing off and get down to business here? He is getting down to business. He's in the sports entertainment business, isn't he? Man, you just can't put anything over on these fans. You sure can. They see everything, and they'll let you know about it. There is no doubt that Batista made a hell of an impact on Raw, Cole. But now that he doesn't have Triple H or Ric Flair watched his back, I think his days might be numbered. Batista has taken the best of his former Evolution teammates and had to walk it, and he's only... There's the cover! Can he do it? Here's your winner, Batista! What? I didn't sabotage your match. You don't believe me? Fine. You don't scare me, dead man. Come on, out of my way, Junior. I want a rematch, Taker, without your funky here. What? Bring it! Is that right? I want my title match, Taker. Just you and me, so leave your little punk out. Hey, what the hell? Get your damn hands off me. You are mine, dead man. <laughs>